Hey lovely ladies, you are now watching Candy Love Chip. Hey lovely ladies, gorgeous gents and crazy kids. I'm currently in the process of cutting my hair. I did record the first part of me cutting it, but I didn't like the the shot that I got because I was too lazy to move it after I started. So um, I'm going to show you me just going through and um, clipping off the ends that are left. I'm going to turn around so you can see. Hair is looking a hot mess, but it's okay. But basically, at this point, it really just feels right to um, cut my hair off. It just feels right. Um, last time I woke up just feeling like I finally wanted to make the big step and cut my hair. This time it came about a little bit differently. I was reading the Bible and um, just felt touched by what I was reading and really feel like I need to start making the changes that I want to make to just be a better me and just be where I need to be so I know hair isn't a huge thing like a doesn't say express completely who I am and things like that but it's something that's not completely natural and not completely me and just something that I would like to be removed as I'm trying to grow and really just start over so I want to start over as fresh as possible. I just turned 22 last week, so I feel like this year is going to be a big year for me, and I'm hoping it's going to be a good one, and I'm hoping to make a lot of changes and have a lot of new experiences and learn a lot of things, and I just feel like this is a good start to it. I don't know if you all know, I don't think I've ever mentioned it, but 8 is a very, I don't know, I guess a good number for me. It's my favorite number. It's always been and just things have happened to happen on 8. Like when I turned 8 and was in second grade, that was like my favorite year of school. When I turned 18, that was a year why, when I learned like a whole bunch when I was... In year 2008, I graduated from high school and I felt like I was starting my new life then and everything. So, a lot of things associated with the number 8 and me turning a number with the number 8 has been good um, or big for me. <clears throat> so, since it is April the 18th, I thought it was ironic that naturally the trend just kept going because I didn't look at the date or even think about it before I decided to start cutting it. It just kind of felt right. So, so there's the front. It's just a tiny bit on the ends and probably as I wash my hair in the next couple days probably or in the next couple weeks, whichever, I'll probably just go back and start gradually cutting off the little pieces that are left. But right now, um, I'm just going to get it as close to my dark hair as possible. And then if needed, then I can start taking off a little bit more to um, make, my, make sure my hair is pretty even. And that would be a good strategy for those who are trying to cut your hair if you, um, because when I did my BC, all I did was wet my whole head of hair so I could see the separation between the natural and the relaxed hair. <clears throat> and when I did it, I didn't cut all the way to that point. I cut a little bit off because I wanted to make sure if I cut too much like I, I didn't want to cut too much and have to cut more and more of my natural hair off because I made a mistake and whatnot I wanted to cut off as close as possible and then get it as even as possible without having to cut off too much of my natural hair so just gonna get it as close as possible here yeah this one end here and then moving on to the next area and probably what I'll do because this is going to be pretty long like the first part is end up clipping to when I'm farther down the line 
and whatnot. I was going to show the whole process just like I started to in the first video, but honestly, it's just so long. I'm like, and I wasn't planning on putting music over it and all that other stuff, so it's just going to be too long. And I'm sure some of you are probably like, no, I want to see the full thing. But once I put it up there, a lot of you would have been like, come on, can we get some music or just cut to the chase? So I guess that's what the fast forward button is for, but it's okay. Anyways, I will see you all. This is my favorite section. Anyways, see you all in a minute. So it is finally done and my hair is shorter again. Y'all remember my hair was coming down like bam. I'll show the picture maybe in the corner or something where it was coming down really far. Look at where it comes to now. This isn't like stretched or anything but look at this. Look at that. In my Hello Kitty shirt. but. Yeah, it's not as far as it um, used to be. Stretched out, I'm sure, to look a bit longer. But um, my curls are already looking much better. I know I still have color left. Like I said, I'm going to be clipping that off in the next couple weeks as it grows out a little bit longer. I think for now it's fine. It's just the tips have a little bit of color. But it's not making much of a difference. So let's band it up like I used to. See how that looks. Okay. Yay. Aww. <laughs> okay. So, I can tell you now my hair is a lot thicker than it used to be. And my curls are popping a lot more. Bam. But I'm excited. I'm not going to do a wash and go yet. Ooh, I have hair in my mouth. Yep. <laughs> not going to do a wash and go yet. I will show you all a video of my wash and go or pictures or whatever on CandyLoveJay.com so you all can see how that looks. So this is just off of hair that was um, spritz a little bit while I was cutting it. And um, let me show you how much hair it was. It was more than I thought. Look at that big pile here and in the sink I just started cut it, cutting it over there too so yeah people my hair is cut it's, yeah <laughs> it's shorter not super short not as short as it was when my first mini chop came about I know some of you are gonna be like you were just three years relaxed or free and you cut off your hair like I wanted to see a length check and all of that but um Guess we won't be seeing that. At least not how it would have been before. My puffs are gonna be looking big and curly like they used to. Sorry, I'm just planning it. I haven't had hair this short in a while, so just seeing how it looks and whatnot. Gonna be looking cute, show. But yeah, this time I actually got um had more feeling than um I did before. I didn't get like super emotional and start crying or anything, but um I felt a lot more than I did the first time, which I think is a good thing. Cuz before the first time I was just like whatever and went out afterwards and didn't think anything of it. So, yeah. I'm happy. And I'm sure it'll grow out like crazy. I'm still going to be using castor oil like I've been using, going to be Doing the same things I've been doing now, switching things up because of the length. But, um, yeah, you all will get to see it all, so I hope you're excited. So, I am. I love the curls. It's so soft, too. Oh, my goodness. It's so soft. I haven't felt it this soft in, I don't think, ever because I had it dyed when I first went natural. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to see it, so. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing me cut my hair and everything and maybe there will be more hair care videos since I am caring for once again another new head of hair. How many times are we going to go through this? <laughs> but um yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing the process. I hope you're feeling encouraged, inspired and all of that. So um, I'll see you lovely ladies, gorgeous gents and crazy kids later. Kenny loves you. Mm -hmm.